With the Vikings out of it, Super Bowl plans for most of us means trying to figure out where to watch the game and what to eat. For sure. Uh, but for a handful of Minnesotans, Super Bowl 50 is an event to be studied from every angle. Seven members of the Minnesota Super Bowl host committee are going to be spending a week in the San Francisco Bay Area. They're looking at what works and what doesn't. As Esme Murphy shows us, they want to make sure everything is flawless when Minnesota hosts the Super Bowl in 2018. In a small purple-tinged office in downtown Minneapolis with a spectacular view of U.S. Bank Stadium, the Minnesota Super Bowl host committee is already taking a hard look at how San Francisco is planning its Super Bowl. There are seven of us traveling to San Francisco next week to really see the best of what can be offered and take some of those best ideas and bring them here to apply to Minneapolis. While more than 70,000 fans will watch the Super Bowl game here, one million will actually visit the Twin Cities during the 10 days before the game. In 1992, this spectacular ice palace on Harriet Island was a huge hit. We are hoping that, you know, the Winter Carnival will once again build an ice palace in St. Paul. Uh, we're looking forward to showcasing things like the Lopet that are really unique to Minnesota. They're already planning for a Super Bowl Boulevard in downtown Minneapolis that will feature free concerts and winter sports demonstrations. The committee's website features the slogan, Coming to the Bold North. As we like to say, you can't hide February in Minnesota, <laughs> so we plan to embrace the cold, embrace uh, the winter sports. The committee has already booked more than 10,000 hotel rooms, but its most important job right now is fundraising. Well, the fundraising is actually the most important part for us at this point in time. Uh, this is a privately funded effort. All those parties and fireworks, etc., that are put on are put on with private funds, and it's our job right now to go out and uh, reach out to the community to raise the money to make those events possible. Now, the committee does not have a total for how much money they'll have to raise, but it will be in the tens of millions of dollars. But they say the payout is well worth it. The Super Bowl is expected to bring in $400 million to the local economy. Well, we hope that happens for sure. Uh, can we keep everything local and can we, like, get the replacements and prints to do the halftime show? Can you know, get... the, the one thing they say is they don't get to pick the halftime show. The NFL actually does that. Well, let's lobby them at least. Absolutely. Right, or Prince, thanks. definitely. Thank you, Esme. Uh, of course, the Super Bowl is going to be uh, on WCCO Sunday, February 7th. It's Carolina Panthers versus Denver Broncos. And it all begins at Channel 4. I found out today at 10 or 10.30 that morning our coverage begins. Oh, the pregame and all that. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of pregame. Yeah, the game doesn't start until like 5.30. <laughs> that so. is a lot of pregame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, eight hours.